And I love that you use the word flow. That is that is like one of my favorite things to to really like shoot for. You know, it's not like the the result of it. Of course, I have goals. Of course, I have you know my daily checklist and things I want to get done. But it all really depends on how how much I can switch into that flow state because when you're there, everything is so seamless. And in fact, I do use the Apollo to help me. You know, I use the Apollo several times a day, and I can tell you, yeah. You know what's crazy? I actually wear it on my ankle. I feel like um, you know, I'm on house arrest or something. Uh, I usually wear it on my ankle too, most yeah. of the time. So I was never sure if I should wear it on my wrist or my ankle, but it seems to work well um, on my ankle. And it's not one of those woo-woo things. That's the thing Like I really want people to understand. Uh, it's not a woo-woo thing because I check my aura scores and I see that my heart rate variability is much higher when I wear the, uh, when I wear the Apollo, which means it's doing something to calm my nervous system and switch me to that parasympathetic. And like I said, when I'm in one of those days where it's like, I have a bunch of stuff to do, it's just a matter of me getting it together and getting in that state where time disappears and I can just dive into it. I strap on the Apollo and I let it fly and I'm able most times to get through it. So the Apollo is so interesting because it uses vibration and it uses like this gentle tapping. Can you explain how that works? Yeah, absolutely. And and I think it's important to mention that the results that you're seeing are not just in the in the moment or over one night, because we've had now tracked this with uh, over a thousand U- Apollo users who also have uh, who are using wearables, consumer wearables. And we found that that improvement in HRV actually goes up over time with consistent use. Mm-hmm. So it's not just to say, hey, I'm using this and I'm sleeping a little better over these few nights. In fact, even if you didn't notice a difference in the first few nights, if you use it over the course of weeks, you will notice a cumulative improvement in HRV and deep sleep and REM sleep over time, which is really, really interesting. And a cumulative decrease in resting heart rate, which is one of our best signs of overall cardiovascular fitness. So the reason why Apollo does this is because Apollo works in the same exact way, neurologically speaking, as soothing touch. So Touch is the oldest way, oldest in terms of millions of years of human evolution or animal evolution, that is hardwired, it's activating a hardwired nervous system pathway that can communicate safety to our brains. So when the reason for that is because when ancient animals, humans or ancient primates were living together in the, in the jungle, in nature, when there were very primitive forms of shelter, like only caves and no real structure or anything like that, the way that, that they would communicate to each other that they're safe, that especially young, young uh, offspring were safe, is by mothers cuddling or, or, or uh, um, what's the word, it's like swaddling their young, right? And that touch from a mother to a, to a child, particularly in, in even in an, the most ancient mammals, is extremely common because the, the, uh, the animal per- nervous system gets activated by that touch. It recognizes that touch is, even whether it's, a, in there, it's aware of it or not, it's, its body and mind recognize that touch as safety and that set, releases a whole bunch of safety neurotransmitters that facilitate bonding, and facilitate recovery. So that would be oxytocin, serotonin, dopamine, uh, as well as things like endorphins, right? That's that sig- stimulate reward. The same kinds of stuff that gets released when you exercise and get like a runner's high, right? And and also uh, o- endogenous opioids, which are our body's way of managing its own pain, and endocannabinoids. So our body makes molecules that bind our cannabinoid receptors inside our own bodies, which are some of the most common receptors in the body that help to regulate our emotions and help us to feel fulfilled and calm and able to manage our metabolism more effectively and our immunity. All of these things are tied together and touch from all the literature that had been published was fairly certain that this was the pathway that was the oldest and most powerful way to activate this recovery system. So after study, and it requires no attention, right? You can be touched with at, while you're doing something else and not have to t- take your attention away from that thing you're doing. You, you can wear something that sends gentle touch vibrations to your body and still give your talk, still 
get, do your surgery, still, uh, you know, complete your mission or, or drive your car, whatever it is that you needed to do. And it doesn't require you to take your attention away from that thing. So ultimately, studying that touch pathway led us to map out the entire pathway and understand exactly how touch goes, soothing touch goes from the skin to the brain and how that changes the body and how we think and feel. And then when we saw that that safety pathway was very, very well studied, we basically in the lab at the University of Pittsburgh designed the Apollo vibrations, which are sound waves or mute or you know, the best way to think about it is it's music that's composed for your skin touch receptors instead of your ears that would basically reliably induce the same feeling of soothing touch that you get from somebody holding your hand or giving you a hug on a bad day. And when we tested many, many, many frequencies over time of sound, we found that there were very specific patterns that we could put together that could reliably boost you up and give you energy and focus and clarity and creativity, or that could help you calm down and fall asleep better or relax before bed better or calm down after a big workout or a stressful event. And then we tested them in the lab and they were very consistent. And then we refined them and made them better and then tested them in the real world with thousands of users in prototype form. And we got even you know more, more reliable results over time and learned a lot from those people. And then in 2020, after you know several clinical trials and thousands of users in the real world, we ended up uh, taking all that information and then releasing the commercial product in January of 2020. And now we're getting even a better hit rate currently in terms of responses from people. But um, it's, it's, it's very interesting like that probably 90 to 95% of people can feel the vibrations of Apollo and get an almost identical response in their bodies right? What other kinds of experiences do we have other than soothing touch that does that kind of, has that kind of effect with that kind of response rate, right? There's very few things that we experience in our lives that are that reliably common. 